Hi friends, welcome back to Panda Class with Mr. B. Today's story is 10 Ways to Hear Snow. As written by Kathy Camper, illustrated by Kennard Pack. The story was written in 2020. When Lena woke up, everything was quiet. No cars honk, no buses chug, no garbage trucks gulp trash across the streets. Snow! Last night's blizzard was gone, leaving the city muffled in white. But today was Grape Leaf Day, when Lena would help her grandma make work in up, and City was loosing her eyesight. Lena loved helping her cook. I want to tell City about the snowstorm and make sure she's okay. The snow was so deep, Lena's mom said. We could go with you, Lena's dad offered, but Lena wanted to go to City's by herself. Stay warm, Habitat, her dad told her. Lena bundled up. Mm, this is going to be a fun one, friend. <gasps> Outside the snow, on the sun on the snow, was as bright white as light bulbs. Lena squinched her eyes and pulled the scarf over her nose. She could barely see. I wonder if this is how City feels, Lena thought. The world sounded softer. But the noises she heard were clearer. Scrape, 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 scrape. What was that? It was Mrs. Watson's shovel digging out the sidewalk. That's one way to hear it snow, Lena thought. Lena walked down the street. Snack, sneak, snook. The noise was low to the ground. What was that? It was the treads of Lena's boots, crunching snow into tiny waffles. Two ways to hear snow. Lena ducked under a pine tree. Plump, powdery sound. A blue jay on a branch had knocked down snow. Three ways to hear snow, Lena counted. She listened for more. Swish, 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 swish. What was that soft, whisking noise? People were sweeping snow off their cars. Their brushes made the fourth way to hear snow. Lena cut across the park. Scratch, 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 scratch. Another snow noise? Lena saw long, skinny tracks by her boots. Ahead of her, people were skiing. Their skis made the fifth way to hear snow. Rachel and Maria were building a snowman. Pat, pat, pat. What was that? It was Mittens, smoothing snowman's head. The gentle sounds made the sixth way to hear snow. Lena walked away, her friends whispered and laughed. Thump! Oh no! Lena ran away fast from the seventh way to hear snow. <laughs> Lena reached City's building, all out of breath, her boots covered with white powdery. Stomp, 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 Lena giggled. She was making the eighth way to hear snow. Hello, Lena, the lady at the lobby said. Go on in. She pointed toward Lena's grandma's room. Lena tapped on the door. Surprise, City. It's me. I came to make grape leaves with you. Lena threw her coat and mittens on the radiator to dry. Wonderful. The lamb and rice are ready, City said.
Yalla, I can't wait, Lena shouted. Let's get started. Lena rinsed the grape leaves and placed them on towels. Put some filling in the center, roll them up, and put them in the pot, Sidney instructed. They're like little grape leaf cocoons, Lena said, looking at them piled on the plate. Or lots of little sleeping bags, Sidney replied. Mm, yes, they look like little sleeping bags <laughs> and little cocoons. Mine looks like a mustache, Lena held her stuffed grape leaf under her nose. Sidney held her under her nose, too. That's good. She wrinkled up her face and said, We look like a couple of real tough guys, not a tough guy voice. <laughs> That's funny. Sidney, do you know we had a blizzard last night? Of course, Lena was surprised. How could her grandma know when she couldn't see very well? Then she heard a noise. Drip, drip, went the mittens. It was the sound of snow melting. Nine ways to hear snow. Suddenly, Lena understood how Sidney knew. Sidney, did you hear the snow? Sidney smiled. Each morning, I opened the window and listened. Today, everything sounded hushed and soft. No noise is the sound that means it's snowing. City, I listened too. I heard snow nine different ways. Shovels were one. Boots were two. The Blue Jays were three. Slow down, Habibi. I want to hear them all. But right now, shh. Sidney went to the window and opened it again. Listen, she said. Outside, the late blue afternoon was completely still. Quiet is the tenth way to hear snow. When the world grows quiet, you learn to listen. Ten ways to hear snow. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by, friends. The panda class with Mr. B. Let's raise our left hands in the air, friends. Are you ready? One, two, three. Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Okay, friends, see you again soon. Bye.